It's Mythbuster Monday, and you know, motivational speakers have been saying it for years. Human beings only use 5%, some will say 10%, of our brain. You know, it sounds motivating, like there's this giant untapped potential waiting for us to unlock. But here's the truth. It's a total myth. It's a powerful fake statistic. And in the world of leadership and distinction, it's distractingly dangerous. Neurologists have long debunked this idea. Scanners like MRI and PET scans show nearly all parts of our brain are active even when we sleep. So why does this myth persist? Because it sells hope. And hope is a powerful motivator. But in leadership, especially as we seek to build a beyond distinction organization, that becomes a crutch. Here's what really matters. You already use your brain. What don't you always use? Emotional intelligence, self-awareness, rational insight. These are all about the ability to sense what's unspoken, anticipate what's coming, and connect with people. Not just data, not just tasks. Because true distinction doesn't come from tapping unused brain cells. It comes from becoming fully present in the ones you're already using. When you rely on the myth that your brain has hidden reserves, you focus on capacity. When you invest in emotional intelligence, you focus on the quality of your brain's use. A leader who knows how to listen, to fear, to hope, to build a culture that transcends today's turbulence is far more valuable than one who tries to unlock unused brain power. Here's the shift your team needs. Don't chase the fiction of untapped potential. Instead, build environments where people feel valued for their insight, not just their cognitive horsepower. Ideas flow because fear isn't louder than curiosity. Emotional intelligence is exercised daily, especially in moments of the matter. So the myth of we only use 5% of our brain is busted by the truth. You're already using your brain. What you need to do now is use it distinctively, emotionally, strategically, relationally. That's how you go beyond distinction. That's how you lead.